Growing up, Bethany Bosch wasn't the fastest swimmer on the Rutland Rec team. In fact, she'll be the first to tell you slow and steady wins the race. Her racing days are over now, but she's taken on a much bigger challenge, one that only 400 Americans have ever done. Four years ago, Bethany Bosch rediscovered her love for swimming. Okay, here we go. I jumped in the water and I kind of wondered how far I could go. For the Wallingford, Vermont native, 100 laps turned into a few miles. A few miles turned into a mission to swim the English Channel. It was kind of something that was always inside me, I think. And, um, and so, you know, I would write it down like in all of my high school things, like my dreams and hopes, I want to swim the English Channel someday. Less than 500 women have completed the 21-mile swim. Her longest consecutive swim to date was on Lake Memphremega, totaling 25 miles. You know, I've just made myself into the kind of swimmer who can, who can do it. That's a, that's a level of confidence that I'm really, I'm really glad to have. But her mission extends well beyond the currents of the English Channel. <laughs> With the help of Intrepid Athletics, Bethany's goal is to raise money to build a new indoor aquatic center in Rutland. To really bring a community together. <laughs> I just wonder how many, how many other kids out there uh, don't know how good they are at swimming because they don't have the opportunity to learn. We're in the season of being faithful with our pennies. And we're putting money aside, and we're doing, we're working real hard to raise as much money as we can, and um, be as faithful as we can to this vision that we have. That vision will continue next week as Bethany stands on the shores of the Channel, ready to embark on the biggest journey of her life. But most of it is all inside, you know, and you just have to be in a place where you know that you're okay. There's nothing to be afraid of. Yeah, that's a big jellyfish down there, but don't worry about it. You know, I mean, that kind of stuff. You just, you just keep going no matter what. And with every stroke, she'll be swimming with an entire community Ta -da! cheering her on. Bethany departs early next week. She hopes to finish the swim in 15 hours, but more importantly, she hopes to one day raise the millions of dollars necessary to build the community pool.